So first things first, I have just finished installing Fallout New Vegas in Steam. This tutorial will focus on the Steam version of Fallout New Vegas because most of the mods that are out there right now are only supporting the most recent Steam version of the game. Um, so that's why I'm going through Steam for this. Uh, I also am running a 64-bit Windows 10 PC. Um, the game is compatible with other versions of, of Windows and uh, it will. this tutorial will also be valid for Windows 11 um, 64-bit machines. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind when you're doing the, uh, when you're following through with me. Um, some of the buttons may be slightly different depending on your uh, version of Windows, but if you're running Windows 10 64-bit, like a lot of machines are still, then this will be just fine. Windows 11 will be the same thing, just might be slightly different uh, with the buttons that you have to use, but it, it should still be relevant and you can still follow along. So I have just finished installing the game. I have not even hit play yet. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll, we'll get started. When you hit play, it'll open up the launcher and you'll get this message to detect your video and hardware settings and you just hit OK. Let that run, it'll set for high quality. Um, that's because it actually caps out on certain machines. I can actually go ahead and set my stuff to ultra, so I'm gonna do that. I also have a resolution uh, that's not this. I need to change this to 1920 by 1080. Uh, this is my graphics card, so that's good there. That's my aspect ratio. This is all fine here. I've got my high settings on. You need to uncheck vertical sync and you need to check windowed mode um, and then double check that you're Resolution's correct. Um, and make sure you have windowed mode on. It's very important. Fallout New Vegas runs better in windowed mode on modern machines than it does on older computers. So if you have a modern PC, uh, you're going to want this in windowed mode. It'll, it'll, you'll have a much better experience. And I will show you how to fix some windowed mode issues in the near future. You can check your advanced settings and everything, but for the most part, for the, most part the default of these should be totally fine. Um, just make sure that if, there, if you do have a weird or quirky setup with your machine, just make sure that everything lines up. So once you've done that, just hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit play just so we can run the game and get the initial folders generated. And when you do this, you'll notice that the game pops up in this. You can see this weird uh, border up here and the game's kind of off center and, you know, might go over to your other monitor or whatever. Um, we don't want that, obviously. We want the game to be nice and full screen and, and centered in the screen. So we do have a mod to fix that. I will show you that here shortly. But first, let's just get the game up and running properly. So I'm not actually going to go into the game proper. I'm not going to start a new game or anything like that. Um, just from here, I'm just going to make sure to get the initial run going, and then I'm going to hit quit. And the reason we do that is just so that the game can create the INI files and get the initial uh, document folder set up and all that good things. So that when you go to install the additional mods and patches, um, you already have all the folders you need. So you do need to just at least get to the main menu and then come out. As you saw, I didn't have any issues getting to the main menu there. So your experience, you might have some problems uh, getting to the main menu. You may crash on startup and that sort of thing. That's a pretty niche scenario. Um, but if it does happen, hit me up in the comments. I'll be happy to try to help you out. But there are also other guides and tutorials that will show you how to get through that uh, crash on startup. But for me, on a Windows 10 64-bit machine, that was just fine. So now let's go ahead and install our first thing. That is the New Vegas Script Extender. The reason we're installing the New Vegas Script Extender is because a lot of the mods that we want to use are going to need are going to require the New Vegas Script Extender. And additionally, they, uh, especially one tweak, which you're about to see requires a new Vegas script extender. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and install that and I will show you how to do that. First and foremost, let's go to latest releases here on the NV, well, let me back up a second, nvse.silverlock.org. That's the link you need to go to to find this page. I will include the link in the description, but once you get here, this latest releases button, click that. As you can see, the, um, the current version on here is a five, 5.1, we need to go to latest releases, which actually takes you to the GitHub page where it's currently maintained. And you can see it's a slightly more updated version. So we wanna make sure we get that. Um, we can follow the instructions here. Uh, you're welcome to read this and do this yourself, or you can uh, you can just follow along with me and I'll do it. So under assets here, we're just gonna hit the seven zip file. And it's gonna download. That'll pop up in your downloads folder by default, typically, unless you have a different setup for your browser. In your downloads folder, it's gonna give you an archive. Use your preferred uh, archiving tool. I like WinRAR, some people like 7-Zip, some people like the built-in Windows default, um, but I like WinRAR a lot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit extract here. Right-click extract here if you have WinRAR, or just extract extract the, uh, the folder. It's gonna give you some DLL files, it's going to give you a data folder here, um, and, some other, and some other databases. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the DLL, we're gonna take the EXE, I'm control clicking to select everything. We're gonna take the EXE, the three DLL files, 
and this PDB file here. <clears throat> and we're going to, I'm gonna uh, right click, cut, and then I'm gonna paste these in the New Vegas main game folder. The easiest way to get there from Steam, if you don't know where your install is, go back into Steam, right click, manage, browse local files on the game. This will take you straight to the main game folder. This is exactly where we wanna be. So I'm just gonna right click, paste those files in here. Boom, they're all in there, it's good to go. One more thing, back in my downloads folder, I need to grab the data folder that got extracted. Right click, cut, go back to my Fallout New Vegas folder, um, and then I'm just gonna paste it here. And that will put the NVSE folder in your data folder. That's all you gotta do, you get your config down there. And then now, just to make sure that's working, we're gonna launch the NVSE underscore loader.exe, and it should open the game, just like that. So the game's gonna open up and I'm gonna show you how to verify that it's installed correctly. So that should be all you have to do to install the script extender. Um, to verify that it's working, once the game gets to the main menu, I will show you how you can check. Okay, so here we are back at the main menu. I have just pressed the, oh, it already popped up. I have just pressed the tilde key. You can kind of see it again because of the weird window issue. It's a little hard to see, but in the bottom left, I've pressed the tilde key, which is the little squiggly line next to the number one. If you press that and type an all lowercase git nvse version and hit enter, it'll pop up. You can kind of see the, the, the command there. That's what it looks like. And then again, because the window's messed up, it's a little hard to see. But once it pops up, you should be able to see something down here, NVSE version six. That's how you know that you're correctly installed. Uh, you have a, the correct, uh, a, a properly set up script extender. So now that we've confirmed that's working, we're just gonna quit the game again. And next, we want to install a mod manager. And for that, we are going to use the Vortex Mod Manager. This is a updated version. You can think about it as an updated version of the Nexus Mod Manager. It's the latest properly supported uh, mod manager from Nexus. Um, this is, I'll have a link down here. I'll have a link in the description, of course, of the video. But if you go to Nexus Mods and go to, um, uh, and go to uh, Vortex, you should be able to download it. And if you hit download the latest version, now your manual download, that's obviously what we want to do and it's gonna ask you for everything, make sure you're logged in. It does give you requirements here, Windows 10 or above, which is, we're good on that. Net 6.0, we do have those as well. Uh, that's a Microsoft plugin. If, you've had, if you have Windows 10 and you've recently updated Windows, you should be fine. So let's go ahead and download. Again, save it to your downloads folder. Second to download there. Okay, and once that's done in your downloads folder, we can actually get rid of that old NVSE archive. We don't need it anymore. Let's run the exe that we got for Vortex. Should pop up an installer. I'm gonna hit yes. It's gonna ask you where you wanna install it. I'm gonna move it. I have a new drive that I wanna store stuff in. So I'm gonna put it SSD here. I'm gonna make a new folder called Vortex. And I'm just gonna put it in that folder. Call it there. You can install it wherever you want. Default path is fine. I'm just going to use a different place because I'd rather store my stuff on a separate drive. That's, no big deal. The, that's also the same driver. It doesn't matter. That's also the same drive that my game is stored on, but it, it shouldn't make it. So again, so it doesn't take long. Uh, the installer has finished. Let's hit run. Should open up. Moment. Goes looks like a little tornado or a vortex. So uh, now we get the vortex main interface. Let's go ahead and find the games. So if under on the games tab over here on the left, you can search for games. Um, we can go into we can go activate a game, and we have to point uh, we have to point vortex to where our game install is. So let's add a game. Here we are, Fallout New Vegas. It'll be down here in the list. You can also search for it up here. Fallout. Uh, I've got a different. Here it is, Fallout New Vegas. Let's hit manage on this. Give it a second to run this profile switching.
let's it might pop up with an error that says fix. Let's fix. Let's go to settings mod so the mod search will be the same drive as the. We need to use a different way. I need to point it to the pod. This is me. So I need to point it to my. Uh, sorry about that. So um, once you so once it gives you the error and you hit fix, it'll ask you. It, this probably is fine if you use a default password or anything, but it's because I'm using a custom drive. If this is an issue, so all I'm going to do is point it to the folder that I have my game on. So we need to tell it that our game is on the E drive. Folder has to be okay. Create a new folder in Vortex called staging folder. Subdirectory. Okay. Weird requirements. I guess we can't use that. We can't use a subdirectory of the staging folder. Okay, fair enough. Um, so we'll make a new folder in here called Vortex Staging. Just in the main drive. Folder apply. Okay, a hard link deployment. That's fine. We're going to hit apply. Okay. Hopefully that's all good. <clears throat> so if we go to games, bought New Vegas, um, found the, so it's got the correct file path. Okay. So that should be good. Um, So, okay, over here under Fall New Vegas, we can actually see the different plugins. You can see all the DLCs that we have. Um, mods would be over here if we had any, but we don't have any right now. Settings, we want to make sure that the game is launching using, I wanna make sure the game is launching using script extender. Confirm how to do that. Um, apologize as you're helping me figure this out. Let's see. Um, um, why is this disabled? Enabling all of my plugins. I'll be enabled. So no, so that's fine. Uh, okay, I need to make sure that this should launch the game, but it's not gonna launch using the script extender, I don't think. Oh, it is. Nice, okay, so it is running the script extender as you can see in the lower left. So I guess we're, we're good then. That's a neat feature of Vortex. A neat new feature of Vortex, I guess, is that you, it'll, it'll make sure to use the correct uh, script extender link. That's, that's very nice, I did not know that. Great to hear. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I not realize it would do that. That's, that's very cool. Save. All right, don't save games are from. Someone to delete those nine years ago. Jesus. Um, okay. All right. So now Vortex is set up. It's uh, your mod folder is ready. Um, You've got new, new Vegas script extender working. The next thing we want to do is enable the game to use four gigabyte memory. Um, this is something unique to Fallout New Vegas, uh, relatively older game. Um, so what we want to do is also on Nexus mods, we can search for the four gigabyte enabler. Um, oh, okay. Hold on. 
Queen Ghouls, which one I guess for Gigabyte Enabler. Here we go. Again, link down in the description below, um, but here it is. So under here, I the installation instructions are down here. You can follow them if you want. I will, uh, I'm just going to, or you can follow along with me. Go to files. We need to grab the manual file. This game does, not, or uh, this mod does not have the support to do a, uh, a, a Vortex install. So we're gonna do manual download. We're gonna go straight to our downloads folder. In our downloads folder, we're just gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna extract here. We no longer need the Vortex exe. And then as the install instructions say, whoops, not here. As the install instructions say on the mod page, we wanna take that exe or well i guess we should do this first again if you have an updated version of windows you shouldn't need to do this but just to show you what you need to do you do need to install this uh um, vc plus plus runtime redistributable it'll download it's really straightforward run it there downloads double click the vc redist hit agree hit install hit yes i'm gonna wait a second shouldn't take long i might cut just for the progress bar to finish it should you shouldn't have to click anything you should be able to just wait for one minute so i'm just going to give it a second yep already done i didn't even have to cut so already done that's done you don't that's installed you don't need the vc readist anymore you also don't need this archive anymore and then the patcher as the instructions say move the patcher over to the game folder and run it as a ministry so that's all we got to do we're going to go grab it right click cut move it over to the fallout new vegas main folder paste let's run it as an administrator yes uh fallout nv.exe patch percent kitty continue Boom. All right, that's really it. Congratulations, you just installed the four gigabyte patch. That's all it does. That's all it is, you're done. All right, last thing is to get that screen working correctly. We need a mod called One Tweak. So what this does is it fixes that borderless windowed issue and centers it in the game um, and helps it make uh, be more compatible with um, alt tabbing and things like that. Very useful for streamers or anybody of that nature. So, but this one does, if you go to the files section, this one does actually support mod manager downloads. So let's give it a shot. We're gonna hit mod manager download, downloaded via Vortex. We're gonna hit download. It's gonna try to open Vortex. I'm gonna say yes. Um, I do need to log in. I forgot I haven't logged in on the thing yet. Let's authorize, log into Vortex. There you go. So make sure, so now basically Vortex is connected to your Nexus Mods account, which is necessary. If you've never set up a Nexus Mods account and you intend to install mods, you're gonna to need to do that. Um, so let's try again because it looks like it. Let me do it. Let me come back. There it is. Load and vortex. Okay. All right, that was nice and fast. So mod installed already enabled. At previous days, you would download the mod, then you'd have to activate it. But for now, I will endorse it. For now, I've used this mod before, so I already know it's good. Um, but it looks like now uh, Vortex just goes ahead and activates it. So now it's our only mod that we've got right now um, and everything should be running cleanly. It's installed, activated, plugins look good. Uh, one tweak doesn't actually have a plugin you'll see in this list, but if you go into your Fallout New Vegas game folder under data, under NVSE, under plugins, you will see the one tweaks there. So we're good. Um, so now all you have to do is hit play on New Vegas up here in Vortex. And by the way, in the future, when launching Fallout New Vegas, you're going to want to do it through Vortex. That's because Vortex will use the script extender instead of Steam, which will probably use the default uh, EXE. But we don't want to use that because we want our script extender running. So in order to fix that, all you have to do is hit play up here in Vortex. You'll be good to go. And it should take you straight into the game. And look at that, the border's gone, so it's it's fully windowed, uh, fully centered in the screen. We can check to make sure that our NVSC version is running, and just like that, you see it is already. So let's test again. NVSC version six, all right. Just like that, uh, NVSC installed, one tweak installed, four gigabyte installed, you are ready to start adding mods. Thank you again for watching the video. Um, there's a written, uh, fully written portion of this tutorial in the description. There's links and timestamps also down below. Uh, the next video from me will cover all the mods that I think are good for an immersive playthrough of the game. I hope you enjoyed the updated tutorial. Uh, we used a, uh, the difference between this tutorial and the previous tutorial mainly is that we're using Vortex now instead of Nexus Mod Manager. That's the key difference. Um, but other than that, it's largely the same as the previous tutorial. Even the mods we used are the same and they all still work as you can clearly see. Hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, appreciate uh, you guys watching and liking and I'll uh, see you in the mod video.